Dance for Life. We're here at the Black Bull Dance Festival. And next to me, I have Yulia Muzikina and Ferdinando Iannacone. How are you guys? Hi, good, all good. Thank you for having us here. My pleasure. Thank you. Uh, since last night, we watched them dancing, and uh, right now there are three times uh, Blackpool Amateur Latin uh, Champions, and that's an amazing result. Congratulations, guys! Yep. Thank you. The power with, with, that you performed on the on the dance floor it was absolutely stunning. The energy, the uh, just everything. Thank, thank you, it. thank you. It was a good night. It was, it was. We enjoyed it. A very, very uh, uh, difficult final. I mean, it was, everyone seemed to step up their game, as I would yeah, say. Yeah, the, the level is great, I think, in the amateur field, actually. Yeah. Like, from even earlier rounds, you can have great couple, and they're all uh, a lot of energy and a lot of qualities and a lot of talent. So, yeah, the level is amazing, and it's, it's growing every year. So, it's... Yeah. It's really, really good. Mm. And how do you how do you feel performing um, at the Blackwood Dance Festival? Because it has such a rich history, and for me, even as a, coming from the public, uh, sometimes it can get overwhelming. Is it the same when you're competing? Is it too overwhelming sometimes? <laughs> well, uh, things comes as well with the experience, you know. Of course, when you're a young kid and you get here, definitely the music, the, the audience, the history, the whole, even the smell and the energy of the, of the room, it just takes over. So you're yeah. not dancing the competition, but actually competition dances you somehow. Wow. So, and you kind of getting like in that storm and you are not in charge of what's happening. But uh, with experience and knowledge, I guess, you learn how to be in charge of things. You learn how to be in charge of your own way, how you want to say something to the music, how you want to see the light, how you want to see people around you, how you want to communicate and how much of yourself and your energy you want to give in a specific movement. Mm -hmm. So oh, yeah. when you get that uh, feeling of being in charge, that's the great one, I feel. But it is, coming back to the question, it is overwhelming. Like, uh, yeah. because of course, this is the main event for dancers, and it always was the main event. So, of course, the your whole life you hope one day to do a good result here in Blackpool. And uh, of course, that can be sometimes, even at the back of your head, a big thing. Um, but yeah, in the, in the years then you learn how to deal with it a bit better and how to, you know, be more channeling that fear and that, uh, you know, excitement, excitement mm. into different positive things. Yeah. So, so yeah, that's the idea. Mm. I understand. Yeah. I mean, um, in the end, you just have to learn how to make a negative feeling and transform it into something beautiful into and even, something positive yes. like even when you're sad and you're dancing on rumba it it ends into something beautiful yeah, yeah. exactly yeah. exactly of course this is uh, I mean we work a lot with uh, our coaches on uh, how to also be more healthier in the mind too and in the mindset and in the approach and they give us tools also to uh, to face that fear and embrace it and turn it into something positive. So, do you have a um, different type of uh, training before Blackpool? Let's say, what do you do two weeks before Blackpool? Let's uh, let's rephrase the question. What do we do all year long? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Very well, true. Because the preparation starts pretty much a week after UK. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Because you get like say week after the UK you get a little bit sort of uh, and then you start already getting ready and yeah is it okay I answer yeah yeah sure sure of course um, and we have quite a lot of different ways of preparation we're not gonna reveal all the secrets yeah. but, uh, <laughs> but it, it is involving quite a lot of like physical preparation because yeah we have uh, Mr. Sandro Hoffman for that he's a great uh, uh, coach for for the body and for the training like physical training mm -hmm. and he does a great job with us and which is personalized yeah which is you know mm -hmm. specific to us to Very our types important. of body and to yeah. our travel schedule because it's mm -hmm. also have to fit in our travel schedule which is 
crazy. So you are still living in China, right? So uh, not, not we live in between ben, Hong Kong, yeah. USA, London, a bit of everywhere. So it's uh, it's tough to fix the schedule. So wow. he does all that and he does a tremendous job, and we are grateful for him actually. Yes, and of course then there's you know all kinds of preparation, and you have your dress preparation, your tent preparation, your hair preparation. Your um, let's call it cuckoo thoughts <laughs> preparation, <laughs> mental but, preparation, yeah, mental of preparation. That's, yeah, that's a thing. Uh, yeah, all kinds. Yeah, let's put it this way. <laughs> and because you mentioned uh, dress preparation, uh, tell me more about that. Because every little girl dreams about beautiful costumes and looking beautiful, uh, and of course, dance sport is one of the most glamorous. Uh, sports and pieces that uh, forms of art. That's true. So how well, do you? Girls usually start dancing. I think because of the dresses. Boys <laughs> start dancing because of the girls. Yes. yes, yes. <laughs> so <laughs> let's say for for the girls, the dress is always a thing. If you have a good dress, you're pretty much giving yourself a sixty percent chance you're gonna dance good. Yes. Uh, I'm lucky because I have uh, the best of the best, which is Vesa. Uh, and we, I like the collaboration that we have created over the years. It hasn't started like this actually. It was usually before he would design something and he would make it for me and I would just take the dress. In the years with um, knowing each other and trusting each other, we work a little bit uh, more as a team. Yes. Let's say I would come up with an idea of what type of dress I would like, what style, and I would even draw it. Mm. And I would send it to him and he would see how he sees it and wow. then he would put something on it. Mm -hmm. And then when we get in the room then it gets even more things, maybe even something changes. Yeah, and it's nice this process. Me from the outside when I see it is nice because she has a she has many ideas and of course he has a lot of experience and when they come together yeah. uh, they do beautiful things. And it's always nice to watch them work because they they actually can improvise in the spot okay we need yeah. this and we need that so they, it's a very dynamic thing which i which i love and i think it's very important creative. for dancers to have like a dynamic feel to it not mm. only like okay it's a dress mm. uh, and it feels a bit sometimes that it's something that doesn't belong to you yes exactly so, yeah that's what i think they do. like wedding dresses <laughs> yeah you really yeah, need to yeah. have to be speaking what you want to say as well as a dancer so yeah and you, you said uh, the dresses need to speak um, as you are as a dancer but what about uh, your personality in real life is it translated into your costumes or not really are you are different types of I feel that it's partly for sure you see a persona of me in a normal life but it's not only that yeah because you can't be I don't believe, though, uh, that you can be just yourself on the floor. Mm -hmm. You have to have as well a performer side of you, because if I act like a performer in the bar, I will look a little bit cuckoo. <laughs> I will not look normal yeah. if I yeah. speak to my mom yeah. like I'm a performer. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Exactly. she'll be thinking I'm That's not wrong. okay. Yeah. Yeah? No, that, so, definitely. So you. that persona of a normal person of course I have a feeling and I have my own self but there's on top of that there's as well a performer that you put on like a little mask as well yeah mm. it's definitely about wearing a kind of mask but like yeah, you well, like you do it in everything like now you are the interviewer mm -hmm. when you go out and you are I don't know a girlfriend or a yeah. mom or so you change, change. Mask, mask continuously so it's difficult to detach from yourself but at the same time, you're not, you're not really myself that I'm at home in my house. Mm. It's not the same I was yesterday on the floor. This is for sure. <laughs> yes. So it's, this is part of the performance. So yeah. you kind of wear different masks. That's very interesting. But coming back to the dressing, uh, you said if it's personal and you see yourself in it, absolutely. Mm. Because I sleep at night and I see my dress. I wake up and I'm like, okay, I, I want to do it like this. So there's such so much personal choice involved so there's definitely a lot of me inside. Mm -hmm. Although executed and uh, directed and designed together with Vesa, 
but there's a lot of me inside mm. and that's why I love the collaboration of uh, such a great artist mm. and him being so humble to actually taking on board Listen, my yes. my opinion and uh, my choices yeah. and being supportive of that and also um, shoes are also very important in a costume like uh, they have to make you feel obviously the most comfortable can you tell us a bit of t tips and tricks on what type of shoes uh, we are working can... with the super dance yes. already for a few years and we have a very old relationship with mr. Barry free the owner of super dance and they've been great to us um, our personalized model is coming out soon is it wow so i actually excited. was wearing yeah. it yesterday but we still didn't finalize the whole details yeah. but yeah. i'm super excited about it wow. I, I did add little details that i feel actually firstly for comfort would be very beneficial for the girls and then of course aesthetically beautiful so it's good we are looking forward to that yeah. signature shoes actually it's Amazing. another dream you know like Amazing. since you were a kid so it's good yeah yeah you're it's, fun. <laughs> it's fun it's fun cool. like carmen has hers yeah exactly because when we were growing up you see all the yeah. champions yeah. have exactly. signature shoes so it's pretty cool yeah. And That's cool. yeah it's nice and they actually you know follows our our suggestions and stuff so yeah. it's good yeah it's nice Okay, so now I would be interested, uh, I want to go a little bit further down to my list of questions. And I know that you're dancing together since 2006. That's yes. That's a lot of time. And That's a long time. Yes. And not many people can have such long-lasting partnerships. Uh, what piece of advice would you have for our audience to have such a long-lasting partnership? I think the first thing is that people give up too easy. On problems, yeah. like uh, I think, problems, yeah. yeah. When it gets when it gets tough, people give up quite easy. So I think that was one of our biggest strength. When things get tough, because they they will get tough no matter at what point in life you are. Yeah. Things are gonna get difficult exactly. and tough. This is life. But uh, yeah, this is life and, and competition. Yes. Yeah. So if you don't embrace it and you don't uh, try and work it out and you know put your soul into solving problem rather than focusing on them, then this will get couple split and you know discussion and so, so but on. But funny enough, you said 13 years. I don't actually feel yeah, that long. It just flies. That seems like yesterday we just started. <laughs> True. <laughs> It's true. Time flies, Time so it goes. doesn't actually feel. And of course, we do have our ups and downs and some tough moments we had to face as well. But uh, like Ferdi said, it's nice to have a solution rather than a problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, look for those solutions and go through tough times and believe that you can go through them. Yeah, even la up. last night I was thinking like, um, I would like to go back to the younger me you know, and struggling and give myself like a tap on the shoulder and say it's gonna be fine, you know, like because you, you don't have that. That was you, actually one of my questions. Yeah? Like if you could go back to your 12 year old oh, sorry. self, it's fine. <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> but yeah, like yeah. I would go and say it's gonna be all right. You're doing everything good, just keep working, just keep doing what you do. Exactly. And keep believing and keep dreaming. Don't give up because it's fine, it's okay. It's gonna work out fine, you know? And that's what I would do. And what about you, Yulia? What I you... think I would have a list <laughs> of tips yeah. and cheats and a <laughs> few cuts of the faster way and the <laughs> less painful ones. Yeah, for sure. I would find those. But no, I don't think I think, think whatever so. you, you go through, no matter how hard the road is, yeah. and I think we had it... Makes you who you are, yeah, actually, really. We, we, we did have our tough times, really. And, yeah, it makes you who you are. Mm. I really feel proud of the failures that we had somehow. Yeah, I actually, I, I don't regret any anything, because any failure actually teach me more than uh, than the wind actually yeah it's true and it, and it sounds, sounds cliche like, yeah it sounds yeah. like a quote on a facebook page or something yeah. Yeah. but it's actually so true yeah. when you go through this and then you have to that process from 
down to up, that climbing is that... You learn a lot. That's exactly when your process happens. Mm. You know, they say that to grow a muscle, you need to tear the tissue. Yeah. So there's a space to, yeah. to build up something. That's what's happening, I feel. And I would want to ask which is your, which is your worst memory, but I don't want to bring any negativity to the no, interview. No, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah. Uh, my worst memory, I had so many, but probably the worst was when they, when the Italian Federation didn't allow us to dance here. Yeah, true. When they had this big WDSF, WDC war, and uh, of course for us was uh, was tough, and that's why I choose to then okay. stay in this WDC because I know that my dream as a kid was to win this comp. Exactly. So wow. it was an easy choice, but it was tough when they didn't allow us because we couldn't figure out in time what to do. So we missed that one year, and that was a pretty sad and tough tough Moment. period because we were young too. Yeah. So young not so much financially stable and you know like so it was tough but uh, yeah but also that taught me a lot so and you understand what you want in life so you find things that that then help you to to grow exactly yeah. i would say i would stick with that one as well that was a tough one yeah and the best memory ah uh, also many i would say last year's black strange yeah, but I don't know because I st I still didn't sink in into this black pool yet. <laughs> yes, it's still so fresh. Like definitely not the first black pool. Yeah, first black pool was uh, was a difficult one in uh, terms of feeling, accepting it. accepting mm. the comp. It was more of a relief mm. rather than an enjoyment. Happiness, yes. Yeah. Um, actually, yeah. yeah I, I don't know. I think my f best memory is when I did the final first time. That was for me the the best mm. best memory. At the international. At the international, mm -hmm. 2000 something. I don't know, 2010 or mm -hmm. 11. That was the best memory for me, for sure. As in terms of uh, excitement. Yeah. But yeah, but many that's more. A, that's a wonderful competition as well. Yeah. Actually, I have a good one. I like my cat suit in the UK. Ah, all right. Ah. That was a kind of a break for me. Yeah. I, I risk because I'm kind of a safety person, so. I wouldn't say. Your dresses are very bold and nice. Yeah, but you know, to go from a, a dress oh, to a cat, cat suit, suit for the presentation, just for the presentation and do the lift and mm. walk out. Yes, I did it. And I had few people <laughs> who wasn't so sure <laughs> that I should wear that Actually, cat Actually, we all said, you're nuts. We all said, no, don't, don't wear do that, it. don't wear it. And she's like, no, I'm wearing it. I'm so. doing it. I stick to my guts. Well and I was <laughs> proud of that one. I like that one. Felt good. It's it's good listening to your instincts. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. Not always. It's good to follow your instincts. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so um, right now, uh, I sort of, uh, we sort of touched this uh, subject a bit before. Am I... Um, my curiosity is, do you think your personality influences the way you dance? Like, does your personality shape the way you dance on the dance floor, the way you perform? Uh, I think that sometimes you have to move your personality out of the way to yeah. improve your dancing, and sometimes okay. you need to embrace it to help your dancing. Mm. I think, uh, as we said before, yeah. You kind of need to understand that in that moment your true self is not needed. It's actually not in the way. Mm -hmm. So you have to move it away oh, in order to grow. But you need <coughs> maturity to understand that. Yes, and you need or probably tools guidance. and guidance. Yes. Uh, so, yeah, that helped. But yeah, I think the, the advice would be uh, not to be so much relying on how you feel right now. But how how can you channel it into wherever you need to go and do? Mm. That's the main thing because nobody cares when you go on the floor how you feel really, mm. personally. Yeah, they don't care, and they don't know. They don't care. They only judge what they see. Mm -hmm. 
So it shouldn't be really relying on, oh, I feel like this today. Nobody cares. Okay, because I tell you, by the end of the second minute of Jive, there are no happy people. Yeah. I'm telling you, we all True. tired. We True. all feel the pain. We all feel it. Yeah. And the sweat and the arms not lifting. We all feel it, but it still looks exciting. Yeah. But it doesn't mean I'm super excited at this moment. <laughs> I'm kind of like, that's the last one. Come on. Come on, Ashley, that's the time. <laughs> Come on. But you don't see it because there's other thing on top of it because you want to show something else. Yeah. So that becomes not a priority, but just somewhere at the back. Yeah, you sort of get into a fighter mode, like just go. That's one way to go. Yeah. Or there's other ways to do yeah. it. You yeah. can go into artistic mode, okay. where you're actually creating something mm. in the moment. Or you can go fully fight. I'm not giving up. Bang. But yeah. then if you follow your feeling, then yeah. you go with that tiredness and you yeah. give up. Exactly. So mm. That's the, the tricky part, I feel, as a dancer. Okay. Not to follow the way you feel somehow, mm. but to, to understand that it's not relevant at all. <laughs> no. Yeah, it, it is not. I yeah, mean, it, that's it, an interesting. You thing. cannot wait for the perfect song that you love yeah. all the time. It's not gonna happen. The so lights, you kind of the, need the to floor, the, the right, exactly specific lead mm. yeah. after six rounds. That feeling of you know connection or what whatever. What you felt one time on the practice when mm. you just slept for twelve hours and you all rested and then you go and you dance that rumba and now. Six rounds after, there's your Roomba, yeah, yeah. and then you have the same feeling. No, it's not no happening. Mm. It will be different. Mm. What would you think are the three main characteristics of a great dance couple? Like the three most essential things that a great dance couple should have. Uh, well, makes me think. Huh? Makes me think so also. Uh, a great man, a great woman, and a great combination. That, that would be my first thought, because you need two great individuals, yeah. and, and also you need that they're able to partner each other mm -hmm. in a certain way. So it's like, I feel it's the mix of these three things, like how great you can be individually, how great mm -hmm. the other person can be individual, yeah. but the most important for me out of the three is how you can partner each other. So that's a, that's a subject also that I love mm. that I love doing too and pay a lot of attention to. Yeah, is this partnering thing is one of our favorite subjects yeah. actually. We it's like beautiful. to work on that. Yeah, yeah. It's a, I love it too. It's, and the connection. And in the partnering, we don't mean only leading yeah, and not, following. Not. There's a, a, a deeper subject to, to dig and the more we learn about it, the more we get passionate about it, actually. Yeah, it's a, actually lead and, this lead and this connection is just probably 1% of that exactly. huge, huge subject. And uh, I mean, I think you can a bit see it in us exactly. because we dance 99% of the time together. Our choreography yeah. are 99% of the time in a hold or a he frame. He doesn't or... want to let go of me. Of he course. knows I'll just go banana Why somewhere would I else. Let you go? <laughs> Why would I let you go? I would never let you go. You just don't want to make me going somewhere in the wrong direction. Yeah. No, but it's actually, I, I feel satisfied, you know, there is a, um, a satisfaction factor when you have used that body weight and you mm. have, you know, that feeling of dynamic working together and that kinetic, um, uh, that kinetic that you produce together mm -hmm. is yeah, such a cool. satisfying feel. So I love that. It's so, so true though. Yeah. It is true. Because I mean actually it's the hardest way somehow. Mm. It would be much easier to just do side by side pieces exactly. for most of your choreography because then there is no a real communication between two bodies in a way. But then again like physical at least, physical communication at least. So but then again you would miss the most beautiful part of, of dancing, being a couple and being together. But then as well, I think we rec recognize our strength, the partnering. Mm -hmm. So when you have something good, you want to make it great. It. Yeah. You want to make it great and actually excellent and make it as good as it could be. Exactly. So that's why we actually like that. True.
Great. So I know that you um, you are together in real life as well. You're married. Yeah. And also for many years. <laughs> nine. Nine years in July. I wow. got it right this time. Yes. Nine well, I years. counted before. Congratulations, guys. I mean, yeah. if it would be someone, you would be the ones who can offer us a bit of a, a, a vi advice on how can we have a good partnership and a good relationship. Oh, that's a tough one. I, I mean, have at least number personal, one. Yeah. To separate your dance life from your personal Definitely. life. So you, like what we were talking a little bit about the mask, okay, practice more, bang. We talk, we communicate, like dance partners. Like, like a work, it's like that's a, work, like that's work. Work. We, we work here, we talk, we make decisions on our dancing process. And it's process. very job related, And it's it. very job related. And when we come back home, it's either me cooking and uh, him cooking. Yeah, doing normal, normal, normal stuff. stuff. And to try not to bring work into the house. Yeah. yeah. And that's that, a, I feel, that's is a big important. Help. And uh, of course, to have some, you know, rules on how you communicate and how oh, you, yes. you try to... I think listening is a big thing. Definitely. Because not many people are able to listen, I feel, in, in general. So listening, really listening, and make the others hurt. That's a huge... Feel hurt. Uh, it's a huge thing. Like, because sometimes you talk and then you don't feel hurt, and that's what mm -hmm. makes you all the time a bit uncomfortable, mm. and then it fills up into this uh, stress. So I feel that that's what... You feel frustrated if yeah. you... Yeah. I can listen to you, but if I don't acknowledge oh, yeah. that I, I heard, I hear you, yeah. I heard you, and then you feel oh, okay, that feels good, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So that sometimes can be a big thing. I feel it's important. I don't see so much in relationship or in, in even like um, in normal life when you go at the cafe or feels a bit so unhuman. Mm -hmm. There is not any more like. I, you know, passing through the door here, people open the door for you, you don't even pay attention, you don't even say thanks. Because you didn't he listen to that moment, to what happened, like to what happened in the situation. So to go back and say thank you, you know, to acknowledge the fact that yeah. being you opened aware the door for you. of what? Yes. Yeah. So a little bit of that probably is good. Yeah. Yes, it's true, I, I agree. What about you, yeah, do you? Oh, yeah, I, I like that first of all the separation from the work and uh, personal life. I think listening definitely is a thing and understanding really what type of person you have in front of you. Like things that you know he will not like, you just try to not do them. He doesn't talk in the morning, he just doesn't like talking in the morning. <laughs> If I start the morning with bombarding him <laughs> with all my thoughts that I come up with in the morning, I know we're gonna have a problem, right, baby? Yeah, true. So in the morning, I'm sitting down and I'm and I'm counting the hours. <laughs> Five, four. Is it okay that I talk now? <laughs> and then no, after his coffee, then I can. But you learn. You learn. In. You learn all this. Only if you say what you what you truly feel. Yeah. Because I think a problem in person you usually is like they we don't say actually how we, we really feel. feel. We just yeah. like, accuse. Yeah, we just yeah. go like into this either attack mode or you have this defense mechanism yeah. of just shutting down instead of saying like in this case, listen, I really feel in the morning I need a moment like a, an hour or something that I wake up so slowly exactly. because it makes me feel anxious so you try to understand how you really feel and yeah. if you start with normal little thing like this in life then it becomes a habit of really searching what you really feel so therefore you can explain it and the other person can understand so that that's I think is a huge yeah. huge thing and then of course communication to me that is good and then to ask me what I need at that point because I definitely need to get all my questions solved. Where is the flight? When are we doing this? Mm. When are we packing? Where are we that, that's nice. This uh, feels like it's a, a therapy, therapy session. Therapy I want to see it. Right? <laughs> nice. 
like it. I like it. I like it. Yeah, <laughs> couple therapy. This or? Yeah, couple therapy session. Like, yeah, fantastic. nice. It's so good. Dance for life, giving therapy to yeah, the dancers. That's right. that's right. <laughs> From now on. Yeah. But you see, therapy starts yeah. when you speak up. So yeah. that's right. I'm loving it. So, yeah. When you express that, when yeah. therapy starts. So it's good. <laughs> okay. All right. Good. We're good there. <laughs> One last therapy question. What do you love the most about your dance partner? Okay. You mean as dance quality? Yes. Oh, anything you feel like answering, basically. Like dance partner, yeah. Yeah, it's difficult to pinpoint one, but... Um, three. I, three. Three? Three. Okay, three. Now I have to think properly. Um, of course, the, <laughs> the speed. Yes. Speed is like... I mean, I'm very lucky with that and uh, the independency and yeah independence is a big thing she's very independent you know and uh, <laughs> and the one one of the best thing is that she allow me she allow me to be in charge so when we dance so i like that that's a nice combination good Thank you for acknowledging it. <laughs> <laughs> See, therapy. Yeah, I know. I like that he is in charge. I like the feeling that I can trust him. Yeah. And that gives me freedom as well to yeah. be myself because it's not giving him all the, uh, how to say, all the power. Power, yeah. But it's actually, it frees me to be myself. It makes me uh, free, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So that feeling that he's in charge, I like that. I find that he's the most competitive person in the world. That is for sure. <laughs> he is yeah, yeah. not gonna give up easily. And I love that he can connect to people on a really human level. Because um, many people in our, in our dancing, they have this um, artificial communication. You point, but you don't really connect. Or you look, but you don't see. You smile, but you're not really giving the warmth. And he has this amazing ability. I actually learned from him a lot in this case, that when he does an emotion, an expression, it, it really feels real. And you actually feel really touched by when he is doing it. Thank you. Beautiful. Nice. Good, I feel good. Yeah, oh, oh, actually, thank great. you so much, guys. That was a good one. <laughs> thank you. Uh, we thank you, and I thank you because it was an amazing conversation. And thank you. I cannot wait to see you again on the dance floor. And uh, we shall see what you're up for next. Yep. Yes. Who stay, knows? Stay tuned. Who knows? <laughs> stay tuned. I'm thinking of some surprises over there, but uh, I don't well, know. Might be. Might be. You never know. We don't know. Yeah. <laughs> so it's let's see. You guys school. have to stay yeah. tuned. Yeah. yeah. We'll today, stay tuned. Today it's all about celebration and enjoying. Yeah. Let's bring the moment. champagne. Yeah. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you so guys much, for everything. Thank, thank you. you.